pretty simple. Set it up 16 inches between each other or whatever your cut is desired. And if you would cut directly down the center, that would be approximately 16 inches between. Now in this case, I'm just doing three to hold, a, hold up uh, about six foot sections that I'm using. When you put them in at an angle, it's really nice to use these studs. They rest against each other, in this case, to where when you put weight on it, and with a metal tie, they stay pretty stiff and hold the wood quite well. Now, let me show you a demonstration. Uh, it's pretty fast using the setup. See, there's uh, six logs here Missouri pin oak, white oak, uh, whatever you like to call it. Quite dirty, it's wet, it's uh, most likely frozen. It was zero, <laughs> it was in the uh, single digits last night, it hasn't had much chance to thaw. Um, cuts pretty good just using the weight of the chainsaw, and then you take that times three. It's still holding it in place, so I can easily pick it up, move it to the pile, and keep going. Um, it means the chainsaw is running less. Uh, it's pretty nice. Update on the T post uh, log mill here. That pile right there was only from three different loads. This pile right here is from about four oak trees, branches ranging from uh, six inches on down to two and a half. You know, it goes to show you why I waste the branches. Almost all of our, or <laughs> majority of our wood comes from branches. Uh, really worth it. Help me move this stuff around. What? What's the point of rushing? We've got time in the winter. 